All right, good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday on the 7th of August. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good morning, Lawrence. Good to see you, Craig. Good to see you all. All right, Steve. Look at that. Deb, Craig, Neil, everyone. John, Bill. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys. Well, welcome back. It is scorching hot again here in New York. Hopefully everybody is enjoying their summer. We, like I said, every day, for the, ever since I've been here every morning for the past month, we are in a thick of summer right now. So you'll notice regarding about a lot of stuff that's been happening in the market. Some people thought it was slow. I'm actually quite impressed. There's been a lot of good stocks that have been moving in the market. I got a good list here. We're going to go through it. We got EA. Uh, e uh, KSO, ETSY, CHKE. We're going to talk about that here on the swing trade. Uh, plus, a lot of you guys did pretty well. Uh, Twilio was doing phenomenal. We're going to go back and check those things. But first, uh, let's talk about what happened early uh, as of yesterday. For some of you missed on a Monday, I know there has been a couple of nice little moving stocks right now. Just want to kind of review those before we actually get into the thick of what's going to be happening before the morning. But hopefully everyone had a good morning getting here at 8 o'clock in the morning. Listen, I told you, room opens up at 8 a.m. We are already into 9 o'clock. There's been a lot of action. It's already started. Tuesday is hump day, which you all very uh, very aware of. So um, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursday. So a couple of stocks I just want to cover really quick regarding about the Twilio trade. Um, I mean, uh, TEVA, that was one big winner that some of you guys, uh, last week we had earnings that beat revenues uh, that were missed. Big drop, though, on Thursday. And then we strong recovery yesterday. You could see how the stock did come back pretty nicely. Let me just fix the time frame over here because that doesn't look as pretty. There we go. All right, so you could see how the stock came in. A really nice jump right there from 22 all the way to 23. Not a big winner. It's not really our typical, you know, a hundred, two hundred percent winner, but she was okay. I mean, we did pretty, pretty decent on that one. That one did pretty well. The BLNK. That also. Let me just bring that up over here. All right, that one had a really, really nice push. A little bit better, a little bit cost effective. You could see a stock from 340 right at right at the gate. Had really nice pre market. Popped right out of pre market. Went all the way to 420. All the way to 480. You know, not like I said, not the biggest winners that we look for, but it was a really inexpensive, nice little trending. A lot of you guys did pretty well on that one. Uh, what else we had? We had the uh, the C H K um, H K E. That also is going to start piggybacking from yesterday. That one did really, really well. You could see how that one came out of the gate. Very cheap little stock. Also, right right at the close, I saw that thing come out of the close right there. Had it really pop from 70 cents all the way to about a buck 20. She's gapping up. Now, this morning, I was I, I logged in early. I was looking at this this morning. I thought she was going to break out of buck 20, and she was hovering there for a little while. Now, if you look at the long-term chart, she's got major, major resistance levels at a buck 20. And if she does break it, she'll end up hovering around a buck 60. 60. But this stock, um, if you go back a little bit farther in history, uh, this stock was a an expensive stock uh, not too long ago. It took a big, big hit from 18. So she is making a little bit of a comeback when you look at the chart right there. But, you know, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. She's not... Uh, She's backing off a little bit right now, but she's been she's been an interesting stock. And then, uh, the, so that one's going to be picking up this morning. Twitter. Twitter's been all over the place. This thing got destroyed uh last week went from 44 down to 32 but uh sure enough you could see it's making a little bit of a comeback here uh, yesterday it had that remember i always told you don't trade the first five minutes twitter did that boom thing went from 31 up to 33 so making a little bit of a comeback uh but she's got a long way to go when you really look at it but she's been taking a very very big hit when it comes to twitter anyway not a lot of not a lot of news uh being too positive on the social networks. Anyway, Facebook made a little bit of comeback too also, which we know we're not going to be trading Facebook, you know. But Facebook, uh, you know, basically finally broke out of that 180 resistance and she's hovering right around here at a major resistance levels, you know, going back into the beginning of, the, of last year. See how she does. But once again, Facebook made a little bit of comeback. But we're not trading Facebook, right? We're not trading $185 stock. You know, we're all here to, to trade the cheapest uh the least amount of risk with the most amount of reward. It's not just being cheap. All right. So what do we got going on to this morning? A lot of good stocks are making some big moves. First of all, we're going to check out the EKSO. 
Uh, let me just bring that up. So the EKSO had a really gap up pretty nicely. Let me just fix the time frame over here so you can see a little bit better of what it looked like in pre-market. She gapped up pretty nice at a buck eighty to two thirty, but she's starting to break lower lows. She's got a little bit of a Fausto flag. Look on the right. Remember what is our what is our most important tool when it comes to trading? The uh, the high frequency trades, seventy percent of the volume. Look at the matrix on the right. Tons and tons of orders. Stock got traded three hundred and fifty. 6,000 shares. I want to tell you something pretty funny. A lot of you already know this, that I just came back from Chicago. I did an event over there for TradeStation at their office. Uh, they do this uh, paid workshop where a lot of people were there. They paid money there, be, to be there a week to learn uh, how to trade. And even those people there did not know that you could trade in pre-market. It's amazing how many people that, you know, didn't, were not utilizing it as much. They were always waiting because once again, indicators, this, that, don't have the system set up properly. But uh, even when I did my last last week's event, a lot of you were here. You see the comp, you see the comments. People saying they didn't know you could do this. And sure enough, you you got to know what happens. And there's a reason why that is. And by the way, if you, to watch out what the reason is. You know it's on your dashboard here at Cybertrain University, so make sure you watch that video. We kind of explain it. Once again, we're here to kind of see what's moving, not to teach you uh, in the trading room. All right, so uh, so we got we got the CHKE. That's going to be on the watch list. Uh, that one also a little bit all over the place, but uh, it was a great movie yesterday. Very cheap stock. Who who does not like a cheap stock? OK, and that's another thing that I got a lot of scrutiny. People are like, oh, you know, these are penny stocks. First of all, anyone ever tells me again that this is a penny stock. OK, I swear to God, I'm going to flip out. I'm going to scream as loud as I can. Let me just be clear. Let me just clear something. Penny stocks are bulletin board stocks. They're pink sheet stocks. They're OTCs. How do you recognize that? You will not get level two quotes. You will not get high frequency trades because and if you go back and. And if you do your homework, okay, and look at the definition or, you know, what, what a penny stock is or bulletin board stock, you'll know exactly what the requirements to be on the NASDAQ national. These are NASDAQ national stocks. But just because it's under $5 does not make it what, you know, I know, listen, I know penny stocks that are trading at $13, $15, you know. So, you know, you, you, that just shows you that you got to learn how to trade if you want to understand why these things go up and down the way they do. And once again, at the end of the day, why are we here? To make money. It's all about having control. So that one's doing pretty well. By the way, the here, guys, how's that swing trade doing on the here? Here we're doing great. Uh, here you could see we trade this stock back in April. It was like a dollar. It's up to 30 bucks. Stock's been really strong. Uh, once again, it's not really been a good swing trade, but it's been a great, I mean, a good day trade. But she's been a really, really good swing trade. We just saw it last week at 25. Look at that. She's already tested 37. So uh, good for here. We're doing good on that swing trade. The uh, the GEMP, no really good swing on that one right there. That stock took a little bit of a correction. What do we know about pharmaceutical stocks? They do not come back, so be very careful. Only thing that's got going for this stock right here, she's at the support levels. All right, so um, I had a couple other ones, TIS. You know, that one took a huge haircut to make a little bit of a comeback. Uh, you can see it's a 47%. Maybe we'll consider that one, but she's testing. You can see the resistance level. She's just basically coming back where she left off, so I wasn't too crazy about that one. Uh, but I wanted to just bring it up because people were talking about that one. And then the MNK, that stock is breaking all-time highs, 52-week highs. We all know when you break a resistance, you know what happens. You know, it keeps it keeps continuing with that move. All right, so we got basically, uh, so we got I would say about four or five of them that I liked. Anything I'm missing? Uh, ben is saying that the the, uh, the DNR looks pretty good. Yeah, that one's got some good movement. I like that one up seven percent. I you know once again I like stocks that are not up 30, 40, 50 percent pre market. So I'm definitely going to throw the DN uh, the DNR. By the way, why does that sound like a terrible letter? DNR isn't that isn't that like something out of code word in like the medical industry? DNR gives me the, give me the, give me the goosebumps when I hear that. Anyway, great iceberg orders out five thousand. Good call right there, Ben. All right, <laughs> all right. Uh, Twitter pushing in a hold. It, TWTR. Listen, guys, be careful with Twitter. You know, everybody thinks you could trade Twitter. If you're not a $500 a day trader here at Cybertrain University, if you're not one of those consistents, do not trade Twitter. This thing will destroy you. It, is a very, it has nasty shakes. You got to risk a lot. All right. Do not resuscitate. Yeah, there you go. 
All right. DNR, and it came out with a stock symbol. Do you guys remember the stock uh, uh, ISIS? I-S-I-S? Uh, do you guys remember ISIS? There was a company, they changed it. I think it's I, I forgot what it is. But every, the whole thing about ISIS, uh, a company had ISIS, and they didn't like because they were being tracked, you know, they were being classified as the tourist, uh, the terrorist organization. They actually changed their symbol because of uh, because they were ISIS. What was it? Bad luck name. It sure was a bad luck name. So uh, I've got I've got their new symbol. But you know, once again, people change it. You know, they get a little uh, freaked out. Anyway, forgot what it is. But anyway, uh, it was a stock symbol out there. It's not coming up anymore. You can see it. I guess nobody wants that stock symbol. All right. So anyway, so those are our picks, guys. Now remember, I know we have a lot of new traders here today. And uh, that are starting this week. Once again, remember, this is a trading room, not a teaching room. If you want to learn more about Cybertrain University, how we find these stocks, how we trade them, how everyone fends for themselves, talk to Education Advisor, um, and they'll explain it. But hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. And also, for everyone out there, remember, uh, what we find in pre-market is not always going to be in, uh, predicate what's going to happen in when the market opens up. Some of you already trade these. We're going to find some new ones. So just sit back, watch, and learn. Because remember, trading is not for everyone. So you're better off knowing it's for you before you do it. And there's no better place than being here in the trading room, the original trading room that I started 25 years ago. All right, guys. Um, any other? And also, too, today, like Josh has put in a chat room, Traders Talk. So email your questions. We're going to be doing Traders Talk at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. This is one of the benefits of being a cyber group room. So make sure you're going to, uh, you, you, you go out there and email your questions to Josh at ctucorp.com so we can kind of answer those questions in detail. Uh, we do that once a week. All right, guys. Thank you very much, everyone. Good luck today. Happy trading, and I'll see you back. We'll see you at 1 o'clock, and we'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.